Meningitis is the inflammation of the meninges, which is the inner lining of the brain and spinal cord. Now, the meninges are comprised of three layers, sort of like a bean dip. We have the dura mater, the arachnoid mater, and the pia mater. This inflammation can cause massive swelling in the cranium, putting loads of pressure on the brain itself, and even leading to very deadly increased ICP, that increased intracranial pressure. That sort of squashes the brainstem and kills the patient. Now, the causes of meningitis are very simple. Typically due to infection, head trauma, or even an autoimmune disease like lupus. But infection is the most commonly tested since it's the most common cause. So for infection, we have two types. Viral, which is the most common, and bacterial, which is far worse since it's most contagious. So the memory trick we use is bacterial, think bad news, since it's the most contagious. And for viral, just think very common since it's the most tested. Now it spreads by being exposed to another infectious person. Very common in college dorm rooms where we have tight quarters or even in hospitals like after surgery. Either way, it invades the CSF, that cerebral spinal fluid, within that subarachnoid space, causing major swelling and inflammation. Now the key signs and symptoms to look for, think of the three H's, since it affects pressures inside the head. H for headache and photophobia. H for hard neck, known as nuchal rigidity, and H for high temperature. We typically see a high fever due to the infection. Click here to check out our brand new app-based NCLEX product, loaded with the highest quality NCLEX style practice questions, and complete with detailed video rationales that break down the question for you. So, Finally mastered all those darn select all that apply questions. Plus, all our NCLEX memberships come included with our entire library of over a thousand videos and study guides and cheat sheets. Come see why over a hundred thousand students have trusted their future to simplenursing.com. Click here to get started for free. Now for pediatrics our little babies. The two classic signs are a high-pitched cry and bulging fontanelles. These are typically the two most tested classic signs for ICP and meningitis in our pediatric patients. Now, in our adult populations, increased ICP is typically seen as agitation and altered level of consciousness. That mental status change. That's typically the most tested first sign. This will eventually lead to seizures, coma, and death as the brain gets squished under all of that pressure. But we cover all of that in the increased ICP video. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this segment. Don't forget to take your quiz and download the study guides. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.